Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texalo News, and today we're taking a look at a phone that you might not be familiar with. This is our review of the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Alright, let's get started. This episode is brought to you by GearBest.com for the best deals on the latest electronics with worldwide shipping, including the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Visit GearBest.com today. Link is in the video description. Xiaomi may be an unfamiliar name for many in the US. Currently sitting as the 7th largest smartphone company in the world, chances are though that it's only a matter of time before the Chinese manufacturer is regularly referenced alongside the likes of Samsung and Apple. The original Mi Mix was among the first smartphones on the market to drop the bezel, opening up the possibility of a near full screen display, eventually paving the way for all other manufacturers. The Mi Mix 2 continues the trend. Tiny bezels run down the sides of the screen and above it is where a small speaker hides. The nearly 6 inch display has a screen to body ratio of 80% and is very impressive to look at. The colors are spectacular, videos look great, and it's easy to stretch content out to take full advantage of the entire display. And below that display, there's a chin housing the 5 megapixel front camera and the notification LED. The body is made from ceramic with an aluminum frame. The back panel is essentially like a mirror with a fingerprint scanner and gold accents that give the phone a very cutting edge premium look to it. Although sadly it does get covered in fingerprints, but hey on the bright side, the Mi Mix 2 does come with a case. As for the performance, it runs everyday apps, even intense gaming, without issue. Because under the hood, the Mi Mix 2 has a Snapdragon 835 processor with 6GB of RAM. After putting the Mi Mix 2 through benchmark tests, the extra 2 gigs of RAM certainly helped it beat Samsung's Galaxy S8 and scored nearly identical to the OnePlus 5T and other well-known flagship phones, which is impressive. As for the software, the Mi Mix 2 is running on Android 7.1 Nougat. Xiaomi does add their own software experience on top called Mi UI 9. And there's a lot to like in Mi UI 9. For example, you can run two instances of the same app and also restrict apps which can start automatically. Plus the system-wide optimization makes the user interface feel very responsive. But it's a little buggy in its current iteration, like the notifications. I mean, sometimes it just won't show what the notification is. The Mi Mix 2 is expected to receive Android Oreo in the coming months, so hopefully that will come with some bug fixes as well. What you won't have an issue with is the battery life. Averaging screen time is above 5 hours, which means you should be easily getting a full day's worth of usage out of the 34mAh battery. It doesn't have the convenience of wireless charging, but if you need to top up, the Mi Mix 2 does have Quick Charge 3.0. As for the camera, Xiaomi isn't doing anything crazy here. There's a single 12 megapixel lens on the back which takes some good pictures. Although it doesn't have any portrait mode or any other flashy features, it's a simple shooter with 4K recording. Now the 5 megapixel front camera, on the other hand, is oddly enough located at the bottom of the phone and requires you to rotate it upside down to get a proper shot. Well, unless you like taking pictures up your nose, that is. This quick rotation needs to be done in all photo apps like Instagram or Snapchat, which takes some time getting used to. At just under $500, the Mi Mix 2 is an excellent value for the money, with a beautiful modern design and the performance of a true flagship phone. Plus, with the addition of global GSM 4G LTE connectivity, like the US's T-Mobile or AT&T, Xiaomi's recognition is only set to grow. The Mi Mix 2 is definitely one of the best options for those in the market for a premium smartphone on a budget. For more smartphone coverage, visit our website at techcellentnews.com. Follow our social media for excellent technology news daily. And be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Techcellent News, and I'll see you all in our next video.